Okay, this is a continuation of Star Wars Part 1. We ended at the drum break section, which is eight counts, where you raise your flag and lower it turning. Now we're at the chime section, which is 16 counts, and we're doing some flourishes and the beginning of the figure eight sequence. So you end at this flat, and you're gonna flourish to the 45 front first, and it's kind of gonna stay at your hip. One, two, your pole is pointing to the front 45 and it's still the flat, and then rotate it back front three, four. Do the same thing to the back slash right 45. Five, six. You're just drawing a little arc with your tip. Five, six. So it's flat and facing the back 45. Five, six. And then rotate front seven, eight. So. All together, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're gonna go into the figure eight sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the end of the chime sections, but we're just gonna continue into with the figure eight sequence into the next section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So as you can see, we ended that figure eight sequence down. So 23 should be at a right shoulder, 24 is a right slam. That section is called soft flute. So in the music, there's some flutes playing nice and softly. So we finished that figure eight sequence for 24 counts. Then we go into the push to cheater sequence for, to finish it off, the whole section's 40 counts. So you end it down and you're going to push two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, up, down, turn around. So that's the soft flute sequence. Um, I don't feel like I need to do it facing back because it's just sequences I've taught in other videos so you can look at those. Figure eight, push a cheater, and next is called the after crescendo section. It's at a minute 27 in the music. And you're gonna do a right back wind to start. So you're here at this right slam, and you're gonna take four counts to go one, two, three, four. And that's just drawing, you're gonna bring a bit Okay, you're drawing a big loop behind you and you're going to bring it to your right side and let the silk rotate behind you and come back to a right slam. And that's four counts. And then you're going to do a bottom cone, eyes up. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's, we started a right slam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to go into an ABC sequence. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, butterfly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's the end of the crescendo section. So, uh, the after crescendo section, I'll do that all together and then facing back for you. So, after the push to cheater, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another thing to note with the back wind, you can slide your bottom hand up as you're drawing this and leave it at the cheater for the cone to make it easier. So facing back, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're going into the louder section. Um, and we're going to start. Oh no, just kidding. It's staccatos. Staccatos first. This is at a minute 40. And you're going to start with some cones and then go into what we like to call the slinky toss. Don't ask why, because it's not relevant. Um, 
So you're gonna do four counts of cones. One, two, three, four. And then the slinky toss starts at a flat. So you're gonna go flat and do a little plie. Then up is the cue and you're gonna push the flag to your right side. And you're gonna turn around and have it rotate behind you. And up and down as you're turning around. The silk comes in front of you. And then up again. And then you're gonna let it keep rotating to your left and the pole is going to go behind you. You can lean forward a little bit and then it's going to go, the silk will follow behind you and you're going to grab the pole with your left hand in front of you and bring it up forward. So this is kind of a complicated thing to teach over a video but I'm going to try. So you just did cones, two, three, four, flat, up, down down, up, here. My mom's pulling out of the driveway. Um, when you're facing back, there's also a kick that's gonna happen on count eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, it's front, 11, 12. You can grab on 12 and then bring it down 13, 14. And you should be at the cheater and at the tab. Okay, if there's, I'm trying to think if there's any other way I can explain it. I'll do it facing back for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. So you're grabbing here on 14. And it's really just the flag keeps rotating in the same direction. You're never going to stop it and go the other way. Um, so it's really just about continuing that looping motion and grabbing it on the right counts to hit the right checkpoints. So when you're here on 14, you're going to scratch 15, 16. You don't have to bring your hands together at all. Um, maybe just let it slide a little bit. Oh, my hair. 15, 16. So you're back at this point grabbing at the cheater and at the tab and as we go into the next section there's this nice big crescendo and you're gonna toss yay for tosses I know tosses can be daunting but you really shouldn't be afraid so this is called a pop toss and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand and push up your hand is just going to go straight up to what we call the release point, which is here. Push. And with your left hand at the tab, you're just going to pull down on the flag to give it some rotation. And the thing about flags 